Did TJ Watt drop a massive hint that he'd be back sooner rather than later for the Pittsburgh Steelers? Hello, Steeler Nation, and welcome to the latest episode of your Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. With me, your host, Pittsburgh, I've been speaking to you here in the UK. Guys, if you've just found the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and come and join the best, the biggest fan channel on the internet to give you all the latest black and gold news, all the news you ever want about your Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, the Pittsburgh Steelers' defense in week one against the Cincinnati Bengals looked elite. They looked top three. They looked outstanding. They made Joe Burrows like a living hell. And this was down to the fact that they had a full strength, a full complement, including Mr. T.J. Watt, Defensive Player of the Year. Now, what was injured in that game against the Bengals when he injured his pec muscle and has been out ever since? Add to that the fact that he also had to have arthroscopic knee surgery to clear up a knee injury that he sustained during preseason. Since then, the Steelers' defence have really struggled to be as effective as they were in that Week 1 game against the Cincinnati Bengals, really failing to put the pressure on opposition quarterbacks. In fact, last week's victory against the, Cincinnati, against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers was the first time the defence looked anywhere back to it near its best, where it definitely, def- definitely on many occasions, bent but did not break. And hadn't had at least one sack and a good hit by Alex Highsmith on Tom Brady. Yes, Alex Highsmith does lead the league with six and a half sacks. However, this team is a very different proposition with TJ Watt in it. Now, I know what many people in Steel Nation are thinking, as many as, as well as many NFL fans, when they state that, well, surely the Steelers can't be a one-man team when it comes to defence. But TJ Watt is such a fundamental part of the defence. That's the thing you need to consider. And when the Steelers were scheming this defence at the start of this season, they would have schemed a defence complete with TJ Watt. Watt, on a a number of occasions, will take up two to three blockers who will have to focus on him to stop him from getting to their their quarterback or smashing the run play in the backfield. Without Watt there, it frees up blockers to go after other members of the Steelers' defence and makes them less effective. Austin has obviously had to have take time to adapt his defence to be without TJ Watt, who is by far the most outstanding defensive player in the NFL. Now, with Watt back, this defence would definitely move back towards an elite standard, back towards the standard we saw week one against the Cincinnati Bengals. Did TJ Watt drop a massive hint on his Instagram social media channel this week that he was ready to go again? This was the post that he put up. He put up a story, and the story was a picture of him in full uniform, in full training uniform, walking out of a practice facility. No other words, no other comments, just this photo. Now, obviously, what has not been practicing this week, as he is still on IR. However, a number of reports coming out of the UPMC facility stated that Rune, that uh, what was able to move without a limp. Obviously, that had been the case due to the fact that he had had knee surgery and was limping. He is now no longer limp- limping. In addition to that, his arm was not in a sling anymore. And he was moving very well and was able to move his arms as well in a full motion. This would indicate that he is ready to restart his 21-day clock sooner rather than later. Rumours have it the Steelers could, as early as next week, activate TJ Watt from the IR and activate his 21-day clock to return. Now, many people would say that so, so get very excited about this and hope that he may be able to return for the Eagles game, which is going to be an exceptionally tough game against the 6-0 unbeaten Philadelphia Eagles. However, I think this is wholly unrealistic. More an opportunity to return what would be in the first game after the bye against the New Orleans Saints. This would give Watt three more weeks to fully recover from the injuries he sustained in pre-season and in week one against the Bengals and be fit and raring to go for the last part of the season. If the Steelers could go into the bye at, say, three and five or, best case scenario, four and four, the return of Watt would certainly lift the whole team and lift this defence and make them playoff contenders again, in my opinion. Watt is a single-man wrecking crew. Now, people would say, well, yeah, but the offence isn't look great and the defence hasn't been brilliant. But what can change a game with one play? We saw on many occasions last season where a poor Pittsburgh Steelers team still made the playoffs thanks to some amazing plays from TJ Watt on defence. Like, for example, that strip stack on Geno Smith in overtime against the Seattle Seahawks. His week one performance against the Buffalo Bills, where he made Josh Allen's life a living hell. TJ Watt has the skill set, 
has the talent to make all the quarterbacks that Steelers face between now and the end of the season look over, look over their shoulders and constantly be looking for him coming to get them. He is that much of a game wrecker. And having him back would definitely put the Steelers' defence back in the elite category and put them back with a great opportunity of making a run for the playoffs. That's the difference someone of this talent can make. As Mike Tomlin said, this man is visiting us from another planet. That's how good he is. Well, Steeler Nation, let me know what you think in the comments below. What was the meaning of his story? And also, when do you think he will be back? And can his return make a huge difference and turn this team from also rounds into playoff contenders? Thank you for watching the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. I'm Pittsburgh Owen. If you've liked our content, please hit that subscribe button. I'm hoping to be back to normal later on this week with videos after recovering from surgery. Thanks so much for watching. Here we go, Steelers. Come on.